happens. So, you need to evaluate where you live. People are taking heed to this, whether you want to believe it or not, whether you think I'm talking and saying something too drastic. You say, well, no, I'm not going to move. I've lived here all my life. My family has lived here all our lives. I'm telling you, it's happening all across our nation. People are moving away from places, not only places that have strict laws on certain things. No, they're moving away from places in which have been uh, infiltrated with abominations and demonic powers where the demonic power is so thick that you can almost feel it and sense it in the physical realm. That's just how thick the rebellion and that's just how the thick the sin and the stench of the foulness of those cities is. These are not cities where prophets go to set up churches to make money in the marketplace. These are not the cities where ministers go to make money in the marketplace because every place, hear what I'm telling you, every place that is ravaged with sin, every place that is infiltrated with great abomination and rebellion also has become hubs of of marketplaces where millions and billions of dollars go through on a weekly and daily basis. I know what I'm talking to you about tonight. And ministers go because they see dollar signs. They don't go because they see souls. If true prophets went to these cities that are headed for great destruction, they should warn them. They should not come with words of, 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 you know, easy listening and easy hearing words and coming with cake and candy and sweet treats. They should not be coming with, with fleshly, carnal catchphrases and paraphrases and and telling them to touch their neighbor because they're about to get a blessing. If true prophets entered these realms and regions where the demonic powers have seemingly taken over entire cities, they should come with the word of warning, with the word of, of repentance for them. Bring the fruit of repentance. They should go crying loud. As John the Baptist did. As he prepared the way for Jesus. He was as the one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord. I'm telling you tonight. Atlanta better prepare the way of the Lord. The prophets in that city. They must cry out. To prepare the way of the Lord, the prophets in the city of Los Angeles, the prophets in the city of St. Petersburg, the prophets in the city of San Francisco, the prophets in the city of St. Louis, the prophets in the city of New Orleans, the prophets in the city of, of Dallas, Texas, the prophets that are in the city. The men and women of God in the cities of New York of Baltimore, of Washington, D.C. They should cry out. They should warn the people. They should preach the word of God with truth, with power, with authority, with great conviction, and leave men and women weeping at the altars. That they might know Jesus. Even them that say they know him. But after hearing the truth. Are faced with the reality that they are not even saved at all. They had a title on their name. But they realize in the course of hearing the truth. That they're not even saved. They're preaching and they're not even saved. They're singing praises, but they're not even saved. They're laying hands on people and some are transferring spirits and they're not even saved. They have albums and CDs, songs that can be downloaded on iTunes, but they're not even saved. Claiming to be gospel, Christian, 
artist, but they're not even saved. There are great woes. Woes. There's a woe in the earth. 